Amber Jane on Amber Jane TV and we are here to do um, G Friend today. So finally I'm going to do G Friend. I've been waiting for this, waiting for this moment to react to their music video Apple. I know it's been such a long time. I'm not sure if I, this is going to be my last music video to react because I feel so tired and I didn't sleep. I, I didn't get enough sleep last night so yeah I feel like taking a nap. Well, usually I don't take naps, but I will try to take a nap too in a, in a in a minute, so I can take a couple of minutes or probably yeah, like fifteen minutes probably. So we're going to do Apple by G Friend, and we're going to do. This is going to symbolize probably like an Adam and Eve kind of vibe to it. That's what I'm getting. So we're going to do G Friend Apple in three, two, one, go go. There's an apple tree, nice. I, again, I only know Unha, but the rest of the names, I don't even know. Oh, there's Unha! Look, she looks so pretty! She looks like a little elf! She looks so pretty! Oh, their hair looks so, ooh. The one with red hair looks so absolutely gorgeous. She looks like a mermaid. Oh, so pretty. Her red hair. Unha looks so pretty. Really, she looks so such a doll like. She has a doll like face. It's just so pretty. It's like, oh, she looks like a princess. Uh, again, I don't even. This other blondie, I don't know who she is. She's the one with yellow dress. They have different vibes to it. Like one of them looks like a mermaid with her long red hair. It's just. She looks like Ariel, but like a Korean version. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of things. Oh my god, chaotic. She's she's tipped her over her dress. That's so cute. That dress looks so pretty on her. Oh look at look at on her. She looks so pretty. Like oh, so pretty. Well, they all look pretty, but on her has okay. Wow, it is kind of giving me a little bit of Vix, like the darker side of Vix. I kind of miss Vix. I don't kind of, I actually really miss them, but these queens right here are literally serving, serving looks right here. I mean, I, all I can see is Unha. Unha looks gorgeous with that blonde hair. It just suits her so well, especially with that doll face. That doll-like face just really just complements her. It just complements her her features. Sit on those thrones, bitches. Sit on them thrones like a queens that you are. Wow, those contacts. Wow. So that was Apple by um, 
Jeeva. It did give me a little bit of Adam and Eve, but it also kind of gives me of the fairy tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and also Sleeping Beauty because at the end you saw the branches, kind of fawns, just moving around at the end. So it kind of gave me kind of three things, Adam and Eve, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Sleeping Beauty, so all in one. <laughs> and I like that. And they all looked, they looked absolutely gorgeous. They look, wow. But Unha, again, that's the only name I know, Unha. Sweetie Unha. Look, phenomenon. Did you see her blonde hair? That blonde hair, her doll face, her face it looks like a dolly, looked so cute. It complements her features. It's just... Wow, she looked like a little fairy, just a cute little fairy that is that is needed to have wings to be grown on her back. Basically, that's what it is. And I loved every shot. They all looked gorgeous. And then they went into their black clothes. Honey, they looked. I cannot explain how amazing they look. They look amazing. And you know what? I know, I understand, I do admit that I missed out their debut song and I missed out like the first comeback songs because I don't know. But what I didn't know is that they had also a bit of like a BTS kind of realm, like high school kind of thingy. Um, and that, yeah, we're still growing and here we are, we're still growing. Woo! Apples! We'll just poison you. <laughs> uh, apples, yeah, we see bad things. Um, but yeah, they just looked great. They looked great and that just complements everything. So with that being said, I... So again, I always have to say this, it's annoying. I know you might find me annoying saying this. If you're only into just BTS and Blackpink and that's all you know, there are more in K-pop just than just BTS and Blackpink. You got groups like this. Did you see it? And is there any good... <laughs> okay, let's see. This is a good example. I don't stand g -Friend and I was stalking Big Hit YouTube to watch TXT MVs, but damn, but damn, might just stand. So, this is the power of Big Hit. If it, I, I think, if it wasn't for Big Hit to, to get source, source music and Pledis Entertainment to merge into Big Hit, like they come into a group and just like they're under the same kind of roof, you wouldn't see groups like G Friend or Seventeen or New East or After School at all and if I, let's just let's just state, state some facts that g friend is the only girl group that is active in source music from the very beginning they don't have any other artists they're the only one there from the very beginning so basically they're like bts but in a, in the form of females except they're not seven but they're six so we're going to just wrap it up say this 10 out of 10 they looked absolutely phenomenal every free shot was shot so beautifully it's just so gorgeous they look gorgeous okay so they look like like princesses fairies like little elves mermaids that's i can't describe what they look like but they looked royalty okay they looked they look like they belong from a royal family <laughs> Those girls literally look like they're from a royal family because did you saw the outfits, their hair, the hair colour, faces they were serving. They look like royalties. So with that being said, I said what I said. 10 out of 10 for me. I love you all. And you and everyone and Sarang Hill.